What is going on YouTube? So coming back today with my Washington Redskins football preview for 2016. So talking about a team that went nine and seven last year, made the playoffs, won the NFC East, um, an unlikely winner for the NFC East to say the least. So let's go over the format that I'm going to be doing right quick. Just recap the format I'm doing for all my previews, three key players, then worst case, best case scenario, and then my overall record prediction. So let's talk about the first of my three key players, and that's Kirk Cousins. Obviously had a fantastic season last year. There's no way, no way that most people could have seen that coming. I mean, I'm assuming some people did, but um, for the most part, it looked like uh, the Redskins were kind of in a dead quarterback situation last year. Uh, Cousins came up pretty big. There's no, about, or no doubt about that. Got himself a pretty fat new contract this, uh, this offseason. And we'll see if he is actually for real in 2016. See if he can, um, you know, be a consistently good quarterback in this league that can maybe lead the Redskins back to the playoffs. Second key player, Matt Jones. So Matt Jones splitting or split the uh, backfield with Al Alfred Morris last year. I believe last year was his rookie year in the NFL. Let me check on that to make sure. But um, either way, it, the backfield is his for the taking as of right now. Um, as soon as I pull that up, I'll... Okay. As soon as I pull that up, I'll get more onto that. But anyway, um, third key player, Josh Norman. So, again, another big... Ac or a big acquisition for the Washington Redskins. So you get to see uh, the entertainment of Josh Norman and... Um, Odell Beckham Jr. playing two games a year, so we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, it, it's an immediate boost to their secondary. There's no doubt about that. This is a defense this year that, while I think it's a little bit improved, still has, I, I think, quite a few holes in it. Um, this is going to be a defense led by Josh Norman. Um, I believe he's starting opposite Bashad, or Bashad Breeland, and then also uh, bringing back D'Angelo Hall, and then... Um, at the linebacker, nah, I'll cover the linebackers in a little bit. Anyway, move on to the worst case scenario for the Washington Redskins this year. The worst case scenario for me is going to be six and ten. Again, worst case scenario is Matt Jones doesn't handle the starting job that well. That he, um, you know, that they, they they don't have an, really an answer for the running game. Uh, Kirk Cousins kind of falls apart and. Um, the offense just kind of sputters to a haul, and the defense plays the same way they did last year. They weren't bad, but they actually, yeah, they were pretty bad. Um, best case scenario, nine and seven. I, I'd say best case scenario is nine and seven. They win the NFC East again. Again, the NFC East is such an up and down division that it's hard to. It, it's probably the hardest division to predict, if if I'm being honest. But best case scenario, yeah, they make it back to the playoffs. Kirk Cousins has a good year. Um, easily 4,000 yards passing. Maybe Matt Jones is one of the breakout players of the year this year, and the defense really steps it up. Now, record prediction for the Washington Redskins. I think they're going to end up going 7-9 and nine this year. I think the NFC East is going to be very, very, very close this year if you've gotten any indication from my two previous previews from the Cowboys and the, oh, what was the other one I did? Eagles. So I think it's going to be tightly contested literally anyone can come out on top that's one of the greatest parts about the nfc east what makes it one of the most entertaining divisions in the nfl maybe the most entertaining um, probably the most talked about at least and again we'll see what happens for the redskins in 2016. so that'll pretty much do it for my washington redskins preview uh, go check out the rest of the previews that I posted. Uh, the, that's on my website. The link to that will be in the description below. Um, I'm getting to three more previews tonight. Those will be the ones coming up tomorrow. Uh, you can check out all the previous previews without uh, having to watch every single video. You can just see them listed out on my website. And like I said, you'll be able to see some future ones that have not been posted yet. So uh, like I said, definitely go check those out. Go follow me on Twitter. I tweet Sportsfire every single day. Uh, the link to that will be in the description below. Go follow me on Instagram. Um, that is my Stadium Series Tour Instagram, and a follow on that will help me out a lot. So that's pretty much it. So yeah.